There are three sizes of tongs. There are shongs, mongs, and long tongs. Hi, I'm Phil. I'm Kevin. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Do -do -do -do. Pretty good. Today on the show, I'm going to teach you how to make a nice grilled swordfish. Also known as the S word fish. We're going to serve that with some Lebanese rice and some garden vegetables. It's gonna be a nice dinner. Tonight I'm drinking Deschutes Hop Hinge Imperial IPA. I think it should be fine. I'm uh, typically drawn to Imperial IPAs because of the increased alcohol content. Also, they taste all right. It tastes fine. No interesting qualities. Okay, so uh, we're gonna. This is gonna be an inside-outside episode. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't rain anymore. No, oh, dogs. Let's light the grill. Get my grill ready to go. If you need the knowledge on how to build a fire in a grill, you can watch any of the other episodes that have that information into it. Here's some of them. We're gonna work on our rice. This is actually jasmine rice. I thought it would be the closest thing to like a medium grain rice. And I, uh, I read that you're supposed to uh, soak the rice in water for a little bit, which I don't usually f with that, but apparently this softens it up and makes it fluffier or something. So I'm gonna just let that sit. You can actually buy broken vermicelli. I got this, I think, for 37 cents, believe it or not. But we're gonna brown those up in some butter. We're gonna cook it down with the rice. There'll be some butter in the rice, it'll taste nice. I'm gonna top with some pine nuts. And yeah, that's that's gonna be the Lebanese rice. All right, now the question is with, with the S-word fish, to marinate or not to marinate? Now, depending on where you fall on the scale of how much you appreciate the taste of fishiness, I, I think that swordfish, it lends itself well to a marinade because it's a, you know, like a big steak of fish, but also it tastes pretty good on its own. So I think we're gonna do a simple marinade. And it's basically gonna consist of things that we would've put on a fish in place. I think we're gonna do like a little lemon, a little garlic, well actually a lot of garlic, and some olive oil. <gasps> You can, uh... Sounds good. What about capers? I think I'm gonna make up a little sauce at the end that can accompany it. And maybe there'll be capers in there. That's what you call an audible. Yeah, it's an audible. It's a football term. Only Twitter followers will understand that reference. <laughs> you can follow us at prettygoodcookin.com That's not how Twitter handles work. All right, let's get these fishies in uh, something. What are we gonna marinate them in? I don't know. Well, it was only a matter of time before that happened. A lot of times in the kitchen, when you stack things in such a way that you know they're gonna break someday, they will. We cleaned up the glass and decided to use a plastic bag instead. It's all could have been avoided. Kevin's peeling a lot of garlic for the marinade. Who would have guessed? I'm peeling garlic with the knife. Well, not the peeling. You guys know how this goes, all right? I don't, I don't need to explain it. Kevin's not feeling good because of the barometric pressure. <laughs> I'm shaving a lemon, giving him a beard cut. That'll be nine dollars. The outside of a lemon's called the beard. I mean, in certain circles, like the Amish. <laughs> That's not true. The Amish don't believe in limits. These are the true facts that you subscribe to the show for. And follow us on Twitter.com at Pretty Good Cook In. This is a bunch of lemon peel. The beard of one lemon. We'll apply lemon later, but I, I thought the lemon beard would be nice. Let's go ahead and get our fish out. So we bought four pounds, which is five steaks of delicious swordfish. Looks pretty good to me, look at that, that's nice. Still a little firm, and by firm I mean a little bit frozen, <laughs> but that's gonna be just fine for the grill. Cause you know, the grill, it's hot, and the fish is not. No. Until you put it on the grill. I tell you what, cooking is just the, uh, it's putting things at, that are what, one temperature and putting it on something that's a different temperature. And that's how you do it. Here I am debearding a second lemon, and that's because there's a lot of fish, and so the beard has to go all over the fish. And really, after that, we're just gonna hit it with some salt and pepper, olive oil, and uh, a lot of that garlic. Oh shit, I don't have that much olive oil. <laughs> olive oil. We're just gonna put the rest of the bottle in there because we don't have that much of it. 
Right, wait, wait, we can't do that. We can't use olive. We need it for something else. Use a mixture of olive, uh, olive oil and canola oil. <laughs> Just dump it on in. That'd be nice. It'd be real nice. Make it taste nice by adding things to make it taste nice. And then you apply temperature, and then <laughs> that's how you cook. What a weird and special episode this is turning out to be. I put some salt on the counter. Listen, man, sometimes you gotta, you just gotta roll with it. I'm peppering the fish. I had an appointment uh, yesterday, a follow-up to my surgery on my balls. It was a follow-up and I was, I'm feeling fine, I'm good, I'm healed, it's all gravy. My appointment was at 3 and they saw me at 3.45 and the doc came in and he said, How you feeling, Phil? And I said, I'm feeling good, man. He's like, alright, you don't need to come here no more. <laughs> I was like, why, why, why the f***? Why in the f***? Anyways, that's the story. There it is. All right here in our bag of fish, we're gonna apply the garlic. This is like, how many clothes did you think you did? A lot. Yeah, you did a lot. And then uh, have your buddy massage the fish through the bag. Have fun, bud. Everything I always wanted. It feels like if you had five swordfish steaks in a bag, and you were just rubbing them like a pervert. All right, as I pour another beer, I'm gonna take this time to tell you all about the dream I had last night. And if any of you know how my dreams go, sometimes they're a little bit weird. Last night, I, I was dreaming that I was cooking. Which I, I actually don't have too many dreams about doing that. But I did last night, and I was making a soup. And I was, I was here, I was right here. I'm approximately positioned right here. And I'm making this soup, and I'm chopping the ingredients, and then I just put my arm down on the cutting board, and I just chopped it off, right at the elbow. Now, you, you, you're, you're probably horrified, but listen, this was like a, a PG dream, because there was no blood, and I, my arm just kind of locked off, and I was like, all right, well, let me use my stub to hold the arm in place, and I slowly like chopped my arm, including the hand, into little bite-sized pieces. The really weird part is I had no bones. No bones of any kind. Instead I had cartilage that was easy to cut. And so I'm theorizing maybe in the dream it was like part shark. I, I, I don't know. But I took my, my good hand, my not chopped arm, and I put uh, the pieces of my arm into the soup. I, I stirred it up, and in that moment in the dream, I realized there would be consequences for the decision I had made. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna live the rest of my life with one arm. Was it worth it for this meal? And that's why I woke up. Please tell me what you think it means. Help me! All right, so for our rice that we've had soaking, it's done soaking because I said so, and we're gonna drain it off carefully, best we can. And I'm gonna do my best to scoop that into this bowl. Okay, and we're gonna repurpose this pot. We're gonna turn on the heat medium-ish, and uh, we're gonna probably just use butter. Why is there a moth in my stove? What the f All right, we got a little knob of butter. There it is. And once that melts down, we're gonna add approximately a cup of broken vermicelli. Look how f weird that is. Very peculiar. Okay, I got my short tongs, but I'm not gonna use them. I'm gonna use them with medium tongs. Give that a minute to heat up. I'm feeling that beer. Where's my beer? There it is. Maybe the beer was behind me the whole time. Okay, butter's melted. This is an important step. I'm gonna toast this vermicelli, and you're gonna have to stir it up constantly. You're toasting this to bring out the flavor of the pasta. I don't know if that's true. This smells great. <laughs> that's because it's butter. Let that fry another minute, and then we'll add some other shite. All right, I think this is it's looking pretty good. Toasty, buttery. We're gonna add our rice, best we can. Add the rice, add the rice. We'll give that a quick stir, and we'll add our cooking liquid. This time it's water. Some salt. Oops, I spilled some. And we'll let that cook as you would with normal rice. Turn the heat up, put a lid on it. Now I think we'll add some bay leaves, because uh, I have an excess of bay leaves. A couple of these, these big bowl boys. All right, bring that to a boil. Well, that's going. Prepare the garden stuff. The garden stuff. Let's go to the garden. I could pick tomatoes straight from the vines, but I got a giant bowl already picked, so we're just gonna use those. Parsley plant, good chunk of that. Maybe some oregano. Kind of gone to seed a little bit. Ooh. You want lovage in the, you want? You want? I bet that would be good. Yeah, that'd be good. Well, when you're right, you're right. Actually, this is lettuce. We could put some of that in there. Looks dirty. All right, we gotta wash the, the garden stuff. Okay, and we'll just chop everything. Won't that be fun? Spoiler, it will be fun! This food tastes good. Couple of kinds of tomato. And here's this big demented cucumber. I'm gonna cut it open and see if we can eat it, because I don't know. This is a big German or Amish style tomato. It's a little bit old, so it's got some schnikes on the, the top. Schnikes is the technical term. We're just gonna slice them because I think it'll be fun. 11, I'm chopping them. I'm, I'm just having some of these little guys. Look at that! 
it's, wow. it's pretty much perfect. Probably like, probably doesn't taste great, but we'll, we'll see. I'm just slicing it. It's a little tough. And then we'll hit it with some, oh, f Over here with our rice. Got a vigorous boil, it's starting to cook down. So we're gonna stir it up and reduce the heat to the lowest possible. Hit our veggies with some olive oil, some salt, and pepper. And I think I'm gonna use some of my ramp vinegar on it, which should taste real nice. Ramp infused vinegar, some splashes, and I think that'll taste real nice. It'll be nice, don't overthink it. There it is, great. So we're gonna wait for the rice to cook pretty much all the way, and then we'll probably start grilling that, uh, that S word fish, and uh, we'll be on, on our way to success. I think a fish sauce. What's a fish sauce, may you ask? It's butter. Let's throw three quarters of a stick of butter in there. Yeah! Okay, once that butter melts, we're gonna hit it with a little garlic. Then we're gonna hit it with the uh, beardless lemons. Let's slice it up. All right. We're also we got some uh, garden parsley. And if some of it stays on the board, then great. All right. Uh, here's a shitload of that extra garlic. We'll just put that right in. And uh, probably not the best, but we'll just throw in some slices of lemon. <laughs> How bad could it be? Using the back end of a Chinese spoon, we'll grab some capers. Pop them in there. These spoons were made for this purpose. They're a berry that's been pickled. And we'll go ahead and put our parsley in as well. And we'll put that to the lowest heat and just let it cook for a while. Actually, we're gonna move it to the back burner and we'll keep that on very low. If you'd like to see the Lebanese rice is done, this is how you can tell it's done, it's cooked. There's a bay leaf, remove. Second bay leaf, remove. You can see that the, uh, the vermicelli noodles have incorporated into the rice. It looks very good. That's really good. You can taste the butter, so you know it's good. We're just gonna mix in some salt, need some of the salt. Turn the heat off and just let it rest. And we've been waiting a long time, but now we can finally grill. Grill's ready, the fish is ready, everything's coming together. Everything's ready for the fish. It's almost like we set it up this way. Yeah. All right, so I got the fish. We're gonna grill these fish steaks. They're looking nice. The main flavors are lemon and garlic. You can tell by the yellow color. Okay, so for the uh, fish, a fish steak of this size, it's probably gonna be like two minutes, and then a, a 90 degree rotation, and then two minutes, and then another 90 degree, no, a flip, and then two minutes, and then another 90 degree rotation, and then probably two minutes. So we're, we're in that home stretch. My clothes are a little bit uneven, so the fish is cooking at different speeds, but that's okay. You can see not great grill marks there, a little bit better there. I gave them the turns to get like some, uh, you know, like the, the true grill marks. Um, but here, this piece, that's the best one right there. And we'll get these bad boys rolling. Look at these nice grilled fish. We're gonna give them another quarter turn. You know, these generally would have been better if we had done it better. All right, the fish is done. You can press on it, it's fully cooked. Ooh! Ah! We got that fish stack. Okay, I'm gonna try to bring these in without dropping them. Oh God. Someone get the door. Oh my Christ. All right, it's time to do it up. We're gonna start with some of that Lebanese rice. We're picking a big plate, big plate, so we got more room to plate. Over the top, we're dropping some pine nuts. Look at that, that's like probably a dollar of pine nuts. Next up, some veg. Veg from the garden, look at that. Shit, yeah. Look at that veg, that garden veg. And last but not least, the coup de gras, the swordfish. Over which we will layer, by layer I mean top, some of this sauce. Look at that, yeah boy. And that, my friends, is tonight's dinner. A recipe not really loyal to anything. Just a bunch of stuff that sounded good. But you know, honestly, I think that's for the best. Also, I think it's pretty healthy. Other than the butter, we just ladle on the fish. All right, let's give this fine, fancy meal a taste. I'm gonna work that corner, look at that. It's fully cooked. Oh yeah, baby. Mm, that was good. That was real good, Steve. Try that rice. Rice tastes great. Vegetables are great. Well, folks, this is a fancy meal. I think we uh, think we made a nice meal here. Shit, you guys, that's really good. That's the best swordfish I've ever had, and I am a swordfish aficionado. That's how you do it. Smash that f like button. <laughs>